All right, guys. So the NFL honors were on last night. A lot of awards were given, including MVP, Comeback Player of the Year. A ton of awards were given. And I want to talk about mainly the offensive player awards. What I think of them, my reaction to them. Do they are the players that got them? Are they deserving of them? I'm going to dive into it. And also other players that could have got them, right? Jonathan Taylor got a little bit snubbed here in regards to MVP. So we're going to talk a little bit about this, break it down for you, talk about those NFL awards and the results right here on this show. Let's get to it. All right, welcome, guys. This show is brought to you by pristineauction.com. We have some amazing Super Bowl giveaways this weekend, including a framed Travis Kelsey signed jersey, T. Higgins helmet, a football signed by Stefan Diggs, a Cam uh, Mac Jones helmet. I can't even keep track. There's so many of these. Listen, Pristine Auction giveaway to enter. All you got to do is create an account on pristineauction.com and use code SWAGLINE. You're entered for all of the draws moving forward. Okay, pristineauction.com. Create an account. It's free. Use code SWAGLINE when you sign up and you're entered for these draws, including this massive Super Bowl giveaway draw this weekend. All right, and the Super Bowl is around the corner here. It's super exciting. I'm really pumped up. Also, guys, head on over to mybookie.ag. Use promo code FFC. Create an account, guys. Enhance that game watching experience. That's mybookie.ag. Code FFC. They'll double your first deposit. That's the site I use, and you can enhance that Super Bowl experience. Mybookie.ag. Use promo code FFC when you create an account. Good stuff over there. All right. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about, first of all, the most valuable player who got that award. And that went to who, who, who else other than Aaron Rodgers? I mean, he had a phenomenal gear. When you look at Aaron Rodgers' numbers, you know, what you got to look at for him is what I've always seen with him is the touchdowns. This guy was a touchdown machine throughout the year. So when you look at this year, he continued with that with 37 touchdowns to four interceptions. So there's a huge touchdown to interception ratio. That's the only thing that Aaron Rodgers does really well is he does not throw a lot of picks. So Aaron Rodgers had good numbers this year, what, threw 4,115 yards, 37 touchdowns, and he always throws a lot, 531 attempts. And again, he's got some great options with him, right? He's got Devontae Adams. He's got some good weapons that have always carried him and helped him throughout, through the way, right? So Aaron Rodgers having himself a good year and earning that honor of the most valuable player. And I would say that, it's deserved. Is there anybody else at the quarterback position that deserved that title? And again, I'm just kind of taking a look here. I mean, you could give it, you could have probably given it to Josh Allen, but if you look at Josh Allen, again, going back to what I said, you know, 35, 36 touchdowns, but 15 interceptions, that interception ratio is really high. And that's something that turns me off. Even Pat Mahomes, 13 touchdowns, Justin Herbert had a good year, 15, uh, sorry, 15 interceptions, uh, Pat Mahomes, 13 interceptions, right? So, you got to take a look at that ratio. You got to take a look at overall how they played. And I just like the way now passer rating uh, percentage is 68.9 for Aaron Rodgers, uh, 111.9 uh, rating. So his rating is a lot higher than, let's say, Pat Mahomes at 98, you know, rating. And so the rating was really good. The ratio was really good. The yardage, yardage was over 4,000 passing yards. So overall, it was a good year for Aaron Rodgers. I would say it's well deserved. Uh, is there other people that could be MVPs? Absolutely. I think Jonathan Taylor got snubbed here. He had a phenomenal year. There was some other players. Uh, but overall, I think Aaron Rodgers definitely at the quarterback position based on his play. You know, I think he deserves it. Uh, you know, again, there's so many good players. It's so hard. And you can say, well, that guy could have won it. That guy could have won it. But I, I definitely think Aaron Rodgers definitely deserves uh, the most valuable player this year. Okay. Now, the coach of the year, I'm not going to get in Titans. Titans coach got that. Defensive player of the year, TJ Watt got that. Comeback player of the year, I'm going to get into that. But I want to focus a little bit here because we're fantasy you know, oriented here. I really want to focus more on the on the offensive players, okay? So, again, MVP goes to Aaron Rodgers. Uh, offensive player of the year goes to Cooper Cup. And this, I 100% agree with. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt here. Again, you could make a case for Jonathan Taylor, of course, but Cooper Cup's numbers were absolutely astronomical. 1,947 yards, 16 touchdowns. I mean, this is like this is like record-breaking numbers here. Okay, so Cooper Cup had himself a phenomenal year, under just under 2,000 yards receiving, 
191 targets, so he got fed a lot, and he caught 145 of those. When you look at a reception point of view, the second guy behind him in receptions was Devontae Adams at 123, and then followed by Tyreek Hill at 111 receptions, and Justin Jefferson at 108. So there's a huge gap in regards just to receptions alone. And then when you look at touchdowns, 16 touchdowns compared to Mike Evans' 14, Jamar Chase with 13, and drops on after that, okay? Drops off after, after that. So is Cooper Cup worth... You know, the Offensive Player of the Year, I say 100%. He definitely earned that. That is well-deserved. So, Cooper Cup, Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, Comeback Player of the Year to Joe Burrow. i got to say I agree with this one as well. I think the NFL definitely got it right uh, in regards to this because when you look at Joe Burrow, he was obviously hurt last year, played 10 games, had a bounce back this year, and is in the Super Bowl. I don't know what else you want from this guy. Uh, His interception to touchdown ratio, you got to take a look at that as well, and you got to factor that in. But 34, you know, 34 touchdowns to 14 interceptions. But I don't really think that matters as much as how far he's led the Cincinnati Bengals into the playoffs and then now into the Super Bowl, giving a good return on investment. This guy was a round one uh, first pick in uh, 2020, right? So obviously Cincinnati believed in him, drafting him with their first pick. You know, round one, obviously Joe Burrow finally getting that return on investment. Not even finally, I mean, so quickly, I should say, but getting that return on investment right away with the Super Bowl. I, again, I'm excited for Joe Burrow here getting that honor of comeback player of the year. And if he wins the Super Bowl, man, it could have been most valuable player here. He won the Super Bowl, but we don't know that, okay? Um, and then also in line with that is the offensive rookie of the year, which is Jamar Chase, who I think is just super special talent. Uh, when you look at Jamar Chase, the, the, the future is bright. He's young, and he had himself a really, really good year you know, in his rookie year, he had, what, 1,455 receiving yards, 13 touchdowns, 81 receptions on 128 targets. He did that well, okay? He did that well and looked good when he had the ball. He looks really good when he has the ball. And the thing is, he did that well, and it was his rookie year, and he only had 128 targets. Something to consider and to look at when you look at Jamar Chase in the future. This guy's a rookie. I mean, what is he, 21 years old? So there's a ton of upside, a ton of Bright, there's a ton of bright future and road ahead of Jamar Chase. So I would say, again, well-deserving of that award, Offensive Rookie of the Year. And again, usually I don't agree with certain things, but I definitely agree with what's happened here with these awards. Again, you could make an argument that maybe Jonathan Taylor would have been mixed in here in any one of these in, re- in regards to Offensive Player of the Year or even Most Valuable Player or even, heck, Comeback Player of the Year, right? So again... I don't think he's completely stubbed because he did get the FedEx player ground player of the year. Jonathan Taylor got that award again, the FedEx ground player of the year, but just didn't get the offensive player of the year, which again, well-deserved for Cooper cup because he put astronomical numbers up as well. Okay. Uh, So again, offensive rookie of the year, Jamar chase comeback player of the year, Joe Burrow. Again, Jamar chase offensive rookie of the year. Well-deserved super young only had 128 targets, but did really did really well and looked really good. So Jamar Chase there. Uh, anyone else here worth mentioning? Oh, yeah. FedEx Air Player of the Year would be Tom Brady from the Buccaneers. Obviously having a good year, retiring. They give him that honorable mention, which was well-deserved, okay? And, again, the awards were okay. I didn't end up watching them. I just got the results. Here I am just overviewing them with you. Again, my reaction here really is I think it's well-deserved. Cooper Cup definitely in the mix. Jonathan Taylor obviously got the mention as a ground player of the year. Jamar Chase looked absolutely outstanding. Joe Burrow... I mean, how is he not the comeback player of the year? Taking them right back, right to the Super Bowl, coming off that injury, and obviously Aaron Rodgers. Again, I I, I like to debate, but I mean, this was this was pretty accurate here. Uh, the Bridgestone Performance Player of the Year went to Justin Tucker, who got the 66-yard field goal as well. So, again, overall really good. Let me recap here. The AP Coach of the Year, Dan Quinn. A couple other guys that I didn't mention. Defensive Rookie of the Year, uh, Mikhail Parsons. And I think that's it. Am I missing a you know, defensive player of the year, TJ Watt? We discussed that. Coach of the year, Michael Vrabel, uh, Titans, and what's it? Wal- Walter Payton, NFL man of the year, Andrew Whitworth from the Rams. All right. So there you have it, guys. The NFL awards, my reaction. I'd like to debate, but again, I can't argue this one. And uh, it was it was a good night of awards, well-deserved. 
and we'll see what happens next year. I, I can imagine some of these guys possibly falling off. Maybe Aaron Rodgers. Cooper Cup's definitely going to decline when you look at fantasy football. Jamar Chase, I still think he's got a ton of ceiling ahead. Bright future. Jonathan Taylor, if he stays healthy, he continues on his role. So I'm excited to see what happens for 2020 fantasy football and reality moving forward. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button. And, of course, in the comments below, let me know if you guys think these awards were well-deserved. We'll talk soon.